Hey, Mike Panaki here. And I had posted uh, something on LinkedIn about testing a single mode fiber bidirectionally using the Landbert application from NetAlly. And someone asked me, hey, how do we set that up? Do you have a video on that? So I thought I'd throw together this quick little video and show you how that works. So let's start with the physical setup that we have right here. And that is that I've got my Etherscope NXG right here. And that's connected via a copper cable over here to this media converter. Now, this is a one gig media converter, nothing fancy there, just goes between a copper connection and an SFP. What's unique is this SFP that we have in here. This uses a single, single mode fiber. So what it's doing is one direction is transmitting at 1310 nanometers and the other one's transmitting at 1550 nanometers. So they are transmitting in each direction using different wavelengths. So that way we can send one gigabit traffic bi-directionally through a single fiber. Now that connects to 125 meters of armored single mode fiber. That's just a single fiber that I got there that it terminates at the other transceiver. And that then connects over here to my link runner 10G. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over to the screens on those and we're gonna look at how we set up the Lambert test to run on there. So here we have the Etherscope NXG on the left. We've got the Link Runner 10G on the right. So on the Lambert app, if I come back here to my screen right there, I can show you, I can grab my Lambert app off the screen. And I will come in and I'm going to set the Etherscope NXG to be the generator. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to set the Link Runner 10G to be the loopback. I'll select that. Now, what we see is once I did that, we established a link. So we connected at one gig full duplex on each end. Hey, that's great. That's exactly what I want to see. So now I can come into my settings. I can set uh, my speed. I'll set that to auto. I'll leave my frame size to 64 bytes. We'll send small packets. We can set our duration. And I'm going to change this to 30 seconds. You don't need to listen to me try and kill time for a minute while this is running. We'll hit OK. We could set this up to 24 hours if we wanted. So now we're going to come back. And I'm going to start my loop back. And the neat thing is, even if these two devices, our Etherscope NXG and our Link Runner 10 gig were at totally separate locations. I am connected in through the management port. So I can start, stop it, reset things without having to physically run out to that other end. All I had to do was come over here and plug that management port. Let's switch over to that. My management port right here and right here, I just plug those into the network and now I can VNC into those devices. The other option is I could have used the Wi-Fi management port on both of those devices to connect to a Wi-Fi network. So let's go ahead and get this started. So I'm gonna come into the Etherscope NXG and hit start. So it goes out and checks that the loopback is out there and starts running the test. So it is sending the traffic at full line rate, full duplex gig over that single mode fiber. Now the manufacturer says that this is good for 30 kilometers. Eh, I don't know. I don't have 30 kilometers of fiber to test it with, but I can tell you for the 125 meters that I have, it seems to be working pretty well. We've sent uh, just over 40 million packets, haven't lost a single one yet. So over here, we can see how many we've sent, how many we've received. Here we can see how many we've received and looped back. So we should be getting pretty darn close to uh, 30 seconds in here somewhere. Oh, ha ha, I set it to 30 minutes. I meant 30 seconds. So this is gonna run much longer than we wanna stick around and watch it run. But what we can see is that this is running just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. That's the joy of live demos. Let me come back into our duration. You probably saw that while I was setting it up. Let's do 10 seconds so we can see it finish. So we'll go back. You're thinking that guy, he's gonna to have to talk for 30 minutes. That's gonna be crazy. So let's run 10 seconds and uh, we'll see what it comes back with. So we run this for 10 seconds. We're gonna see that it eventually stops right there and we didn't lose any frames. So this is how we can go in 
and set up the Lambert application to test something like this. I go out on Amazon, which I got this setup, the whole setup right here. My transceivers and the optics was like 59 bucks. People had said I could only connect it 100, blah, blah. It didn't work. It didn't work for me. I wanted to find out. We hooked it up. We tested it with Lambert. And it comes back out that we can get full line right, full duplex gig without any packet loss. So hopefully this answers the question. And uh, stay tuned for other videos. Thank you very much.